So here the issue is that uh, in the handle result, where is handle result here? Okay, so right here in the handle result, we haven't told it what to do uh, when it's edit row. So that's all we need to do. So let me just duplicate this on delete row. And then I will put my those like that and then put the else statement there. Okay, so the data type here is, let's come back to Ajax and see what we are returning as the data type. Uh, edit category, that's the one. So let me come back here and put that one there. Okay, so what we're doing when the result comes back is similar to this. So this is the most important part here. There's show add new and then so the alert and then that. Okay, so let me put this here, paste. The only thing is uh, we change this function to show edit category. And then we have a few things to add here. Let me look at the function itself. Show edit category, where is that? Show, so we have an ID, which is a number, a category, which is some text and an event. So since we have none of that, what we're going to do is, let me make sure I'm on the right spot here, edit category, that's right there. So we have a number, I'll put zero, then we need some text, I'll just put some empty. And then we'll need an event, I'll just put false. Okay, so there we go. And table body, object data. Okay, I think uh, that should suffice. I think I should put the alert last, like so. All right, so let's give it a test run. I want to edit this back to its normal and I will do that and hit save. Your row was successfully edited. And there we go. You see it there. Let's try cars. Cars 2. Save. Save. So I think we don't need to alert anything. It can become very annoying at some point. So I will leave it out of there. So let me refresh here. And let's edit it back to its normal. Let me cancel. Okay, that's working. Okay, remove that and hit save. Okay, so, so far so good. We can create a new, let's add new. Let's uh, book, let's add that one. Okay, so why isn't it adding? Let's see the console if there are any errors. So there are no errors there. Let me refresh. So it didn't actually add. Oh, because it's opening edit category here. Okay, so add new shouldn't be doing that. So let me refresh this one more time. Wait a minute, did I edit this by mistake? Uh, let's come back here, collect, edit collect data one moment oh yeah so sorry about that I, I I changed it by mistake here so this should be add new yeah sorry about that I changed it by mistake okay so let me click there we go add new books save uh oh, let's go to the inspector. Okay, so JSON parse unexpected character. So we have errors, apparently. So let me refresh. So nothing was saved. So let's look at the errors. Let's come back to handle results and see the errors. So I'll say, uh, let's do a console.log result so let's see what result we are getting here that is affecting us obviously an error refresh add let's do books and hit save 
So let's inspect console and let's see what we get. So yes, it's saying fatal error. Call to undefined method, PDO write. Okay. Okay, so usually what happens here is as usual, let me come back here, let me close this, go back to the Ajax. So at this point, where is this? Uh, add new. So instead of get instance here, I think let's just create a new instance every time like that. Okay, in the Ajax there. So let's try this again. Let me add a new one books and hit save oops we are still having the problem what is going on here okay add new create okay let's go to the category create here or is this okay there we go all right, so I see the issue here. Here we get, let me undo this, get instance. So you can leave that, uh, that's fine. It's going to work still. But here, let's try a new instance. Okay, so that's all we need to do inside the category class, new instance, that should probably work now. So add, if you want to avoid these errors, you can simply be creating a new instance every time. Uh, that's up to you. So books and hit save. Category added successfully. Thank you. I can enable it and disable it. I can edit it to books to save. And there we go. Edit it back to books and hit save. Or I can delete it. So let's delete it. Delete. Okay. Deleted. Okay. So the category section is working fine. So in the next videos we're going to see how we can transfer all this to create actual products here i will see you in the next video